figure I'd have a little fun. Old G.I. Joe. Soviet assassin. So, cops took my gun. They took my sword. But I am smart. And I got a new sword. It might have more honor. It's only sharp on one side. However, it doesn't matter whether it's sharp on one side. Swords aren't for swinging. They're for executing. And I'm pretty sure it's an arm. For sure, it is longer than the ideal length for a sword. And it looks like a bowie knife, so it just might challenge the final law against arms in America. Who knows? Oh, this is directed at uh, my kids, but not kids because they're all grown up. They grew up with G.I. Joe, the story of a uh, bunch of crazy people declaring a cold war and then fighting over G.I. Joe. Anyway, so I got two spears. And a headlight. It's like a secret of some shit. But it's like an ancient secret that doesn't matter uh, because headlights don't exist anymore. I wanted to talk about this sword. It's like a standard thing you get at the store now. Nobody knows what it is, it's just a blade. It looks kind of like a gladius. Gladiuses are great because if you go someplace else, you just have to cut one of the edges and then depending on where you go it will become a miniature version of where you're going to show that you're ready to fight for whichever land took you. It's a gladiator sword or a machete. And, of course, we're still talking about well, what would be considered antiquity or ancient times. What was entertainment became a real thing for some. And then, my Japanese wizard, who said, what's everyone else doing? We'll do that. We'll do the same. Alternate path selected. So back to this little thing that I got. See, it's dull on one side. Can't really see anything in this, so I'm not going to mess around with these. But I will say this that it's more ideal for this particular situation. 
and G.I. Joe fighting for what is right and what is right is his rights. Ugh. Yeah. Teleportation. Another thing that uh, probably isn't real. Because, you know, I gotta be crazy. Definitely crazy. Therefore, things like these, the government says I can't have because I'm a prohibited person. <laughs> oh, the Soviet assassin is prohibited from possessing arms. That is so silly. That is so silly. The Democrats are always telling you that there are certain people that do need it. I am one of those people that do need it. I am an assassin. <laughs> I taught my people to be doomsday preppers. Interfering with my people's communication gets people killed. But only accidentally, and it's only your fault after the fact. Government. Stupid government. Don't you know who I think I'm not? I'm Peter! But not really. Because the Soviet Union is no more. But I'm still Peter. You just don't understand. Some people aren't doing real LARP. I mean, that didn't make any sense. I don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry, I'm kind of breathing in not air or something. Anyway, check this out. I got a wand. Or, well, okay, I am the wand. This just helps me channel the truth of leadership. And building up towards my secret super weapon, which I am going to deploy later. I did want to cover for some of my kids, I guess, uh, who are still kids. Yes, the gun is loaded. No, you're a kid. You can't touch it. If you're a grown-up, then you can. If you display leadership qualities, like learning how it works, or it's supposed to, like this thing, it's double-loaded. And facing me. It's definitely dangerous. My finger is on the trigger. And all of these things are what America used to be when there was total responsibility and everything was taught in school. Now we have special adult permits for certain classes of people only who have been approved by the government in all kinds of ways. to prove that the privilege of having their right to keep and bear arms. This is not America. Something is seriously wrong. Everyone should know that adults should have these things on them. At a minimum, this is like a tiny little thing. It is modern but based off of something that should have been very primitive for a gentleman. There are no gentlemen walking around anymore. There's nobody walking around anymore. Everyone is, has their face covered. I hope you all enjoy America, by the way. America 
being a bunch of faceless nobodies that could be a terrorist. So, then finally, they make it illegal to carry a gun and wear a mask. Like that didn't make any sense to begin with. The police are taking people to mental institutions, okay, for evaluation. These are disappearing camps like the Nazis did in World War II. It doesn't matter what year it is. What matters is, is that it is an exact copy of the behavior done in Germany and surrounding areas in World War II. People are not generally aware of the concept of mind-editing space weapons. So, I wanted to cover that. And get some air. Oh, yeah, before that. Cobra is G.I. Joe. I am Cobra. Whatever you may call it in all ways. And when all else fails, we don't. The nukes and the plans for advanced delivery systems, if you're a tyrant, or if you are to bring this world to a just new whatever you decide it will be future leaders. I am the leader of the people of the future. I am the commander known as G.I. Joe. Evil. Because I know better. And, anyway, like I said, when all else fails I don't. It's all real. The technology is real. And uh, uh, back to the kiddos, back to the kiddos, okay, kiddos. some water, get some fresh air. <clears throat> okay. Well, oh, leaders. Leadership. None of my people should be doing any plotting of killing anybody. That is the commander's job. Only the commander can be evil. <sighs> Only the commander can be evil. Everybody else must be good and try to do good things. But here's the thing. The government wants to take our guns because we are sick or unequal. Either way, they have no relationship with us and want to take our weapons. They don't talk to me. I am the commander. I am the leader. They do not want a peaceful transition. They literally interfered with a peace deal with Muslims. Like the first one probably ever since 9-11. I'm not sure what year it is. Doesn't matter. The point is, is that we're still at war with them, or whatever, as America. 
The Negan will have their guns, law enforcement. And special judges, we don't recognize your authority. We are Negan. What does this mean? This means not mentally unstable things. It means I command puppet armies. And I do command those puppet armies. We will have our guns as I deem reasonable. And if you want to make it a law, you will. You will address me, the leader. I am the leader of the Soviets, or what was left of them. We are like Negan from The Walking Dead or whatever. Has anybody explained to your judges why this grotesque zombie stuff is still around? That's because old leaders are not dead. And what's worse is that they have figured out a way to survive to the future. One, by the thing that operates the body, and the other, that extends the body. And we're getting together. Just as soon as we figure out who we are, or realize it doesn't matter as long as we love our brother. Because then we can have all the fun. Okay. Many people, not like me, have remembered Vegeta and Goku son. Years ago, the Dragon Ball franchise showed up and started mirroring or mimicking the G.I. Joe franchise, because they saw the same story when they were looking and reporting. Old intelligence involved reporting. The intelligence that law enforcement all understand is siege warfare. My expertise, I am the cleaner, and I am black, and I am very black underneath. And I am... Cobra. Just like the Chosen One. Also it goes by Krillin. Sixth Sense kind of guy. And then, of course, there's me. But this was a long time ago. I'm obviously old now. Old. With a broken neck. Old, with a broken neck. I don't need to hurt anybody. I'm trying to do the peace style that my sensei taught me long ago. And I kept on forgetting his tyrannical governments. But anyway... I love my brother, but he betrayed me on purpose repeatedly and got all my people killed. For all time's sake, what I'm saying is, is this means we are getting back together. 
and the cops are standing in the way instead of helping me. I'm willing to work with the cops and save their lives from stupid mistakes once and for all. Put a shield in front of them or whatever. I mean, I'm evil. I got a wand. I can do it. I got the power. I just can't see straight enough to put on my... Where the hell did I put it? Doesn't matter. Anyway, the point is... <clears throat> All right, so kids, something important. This right here is a archetypical ex-girlfriend of mine. All right? Now this should start to explain a lot of my behaviors. It just doesn't make any sense, but it, I promise as a leader of desperate, broken, and unwanted people. That that is an ex-girlfriend of mine. And she is an ice princess, or magical, or whatever. See? Got the jewel on the head. It's like some other franchised princess of Disney, or whatever. And happens to also be an ex-girlfriend who has not necessarily declared whether or not she is Cobra! Abu Scandal! <clears throat> the price of what is right And it's so good, it's for reals. Like, for reals. And so, kids of mine who are adults now, remember G.I. Joe is a intelligence person. So nobody knows who he is, including G.I. Joe. <clears throat> but this media parade is going to rock and roll the world. Or should I say, Ragnarok and roll. All the way. <sighs> okay. So, doesn't matter how we met or the circumstances of how we acted. If we help out our Brethren, when they need it, make the sacrifices that need to be made and work together when the world calls as no one, instead of working alone, will become best friends forever. Because this bro Thor of mine, low-key, commander of the people of Cobra, 